It might be a bit late for tonight's dinner, but if you're looking for food inspiration, our final story tonight might just be the thing for you. Hundreds of food and produce brands are in Australia for the Fine Food Trade Show. It's the biggest in its history. From the well-known brands to the more obscure, the Southern Hemisphere's largest trade show has brought products from around the world to Melbourne. We have over 45 different countries being represented here. Anything ranging from Colombia, Peru to Italy, Taiwan, Thailand, Malaysia, China, Japan, they're all here. The cacao in these products is grown in the Amazon by local families. Now it's sold across the globe. This product can't be farmed on large scale, so it's farmed by small indigenous communities all around Ecuador, which then harvest it, ferment it, and in most cases export it directly when they work uh, closely, for instance, with chocolate. The event has attracted over 1,000 exhibitors, a third from overseas. So while it's a competition for local producers, it's also an opportunity to build international contacts and partnerships. The event is billed as the biggest in the trade show's 30-year history, with exhibitors trying to get the attention of thousands of international buyers with products like the world's strongest coffee. We do get a lot of interest, um, and look, and it's not just about the business. The business is just getting people to try the coffees and, and having coffees in different ways. For many consumers, provenance is key. The Australian consumers are really interested to top quality Italian products. And what we promote is the, the real and authentic Italian products. And for world pizza champion Johnny Di Francesco, it's an opportunity to display his talents and a chance to scout for the next pizza protege to compete in the championships next year. I'm the captain for the next three years, so I'll be judging this year and um, I'm not competing anymore because I'm not allowed to compete in Australia anymore. Abby Dinham, SBS World News.